Lions fans. It is the morning after it is Victory Monday and I'm still on cloud nine right now. Would have been even sweeter if we did make the playoffs, but events took place yesterday, like the rough and the kicker pass and Baker Mayfield being bad, the offensive line being bad for the Rams. That kept us out of the playoffs, unfortunately. That sucks. Um, I'm still on cloud nine, though. <laughs> I, I really am. It, it, it even got better for me watching the events that took place after the game. Going back and re-watching the clips of all the people that just made it definite, definite, that the Detroit Lions were not going to go and beat Aaron Rodgers. It made it feel that much better. I'm getting ready to go and talk some trash. I'm at work. <laughs> so I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm finna walk up here with a up in this place with a, with a smile from ear to ear. <laughs> but um man, just feels great. Feels great, man. So all of these shows, ESPN, man, and whatever, you know, sports show you watch this morning, it's going to be interesting to, to see how they they play this thing, man, because the way that they was doing us was crazy. I mean, they was killing us on TV, man. Like, bro, I understand, you know, that they've been winning and all of that, man, but ain't no way they beating Aaron Rodgers, man. This, that, and they bring up the history and the statistics. I hate statistics. They bring up all of that. And they just make it definite that the Lions are going to lose. Man, this is football. I can't say this enough to people. This is a jocks game. Keep your little analyticals to yourself. We don't care about records, histories, and all of that. Every single day is a different day in the NFL. At any given time, a team can beat any team. At any given time. The Lions finally put themselves in a place where they can do that. The Lions stopped shooting themselves in the foot. We watched this franchise shoot themselves in the foot over and over and over. Not taking it serious, not adding real talent. You know, I watched a recent interview with Calvin Johnson where he spoke on that. One of the part of, part of the reason why he decided to retire because the franchise wasn't doing their job, he felt. They weren't going in the right direction. They weren't adding the right pieces that they needed. You added a couple of guys defensively, but it just wasn't enough. Like I said, that team, when he played, you know, in those the, the good year or years, <laughs> I can't even say years, year. <laughs> like I said, they didn't have depth. You know what I'm saying? And he spoke on that. So <sighs> the Lions are finally doing things right and that's why brad holmes is here it's is one is a is is one a and one b when it comes to him and it comes to what troy weaver is doing in detroit he um didn't actually make the hire for head coach i've seen a couple of people i, I tweeted about this on twitter and um yeah, what y'all gotta understand is that he didn't hire dan campbell the Lions did. So he's very fortunate that they did because he's making his job a lot easier developing these guys. They were brought in as a package. Um, Troy Weaver, it's not time for him to fire Dwayne Casey because they're still going for Wimbayana right now. So, But that's another topic, right? When you look at this Lions team in the future and the direction that it's going right now, when you're able to win the last game at that raggedy, dusty, oh, I hate, I hate that stadium, man. <laughs> I wouldn't have it no other way, right? They turn in the corner. They've already turned the corner. This is year two of the rebuild. Year two. Year two. 
and you're getting this type of result, you can't be any less impressed with with, with what you've seen uh, over the last half of the season going into the game last night. They have done an excellent job of motivating these players and giving them the tools they need to be successful. Brad Holmes has done an excellent job acquiring and adding talent um, to this roster. Football players, man. That's what Dan Campbell said. He wanted he wanted football players. No turds. <laughs> so, and that's what they got. They got some ballers, man. These dudes, I mean, man, you know, like I said, just watching the kid, you know, Aiden Hutchinson, man, just, you know, the fact that he does so many things out there. He does so many things out there. It's not just pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. You get so much more. You get someone who can drop back in coverage. You know, that's a threat to pick the football off. If he don't win rookie, uh, defensive rookie of the year, I'm going to have a problem with that. I like Sauce Gardner. I really like Sauce Gardner. But Aiden Hutchinson has the same amount of interceptions as Sauce does. But on top of that, everything else, you know what I'm saying? Um, ah, man, there's no way that he shouldn't win that, that award. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's in my mind. So, and you know, I'm not just being a homer. Last night solidified it for me. Before it was just like, it can go this way, that way. Uh, a couple of other guys that also you can have in that conversation, obviously. Um, but last night just sealed the deal for me. It sealed the deal for me. I wish he would have got that third sack. I really wish he would have got that third sack. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. Definitely going to be interesting. It's going to be a heck of a summer. A heck of a summer, man. This long wait that we got to experience. <sighs> <laughs> Man, I hate to break between football season, but you got to understand that we can't be greedy, right? These guys need that time to heal physically and mentally. So we just got to take it. You know what I'm saying? I just wish that these these teams had a little bit more access besides, you know, coming out to training camp. I wish we had more access to see what some of these guys are doing over the summer. Some of the things that are happening over the summer. Uh, a little bit more backdoor access, right? Um, that, that would be dope. But, you know, with that said, um, let's just enjoy this day. Let's enjoy this day, man. Let's enjoy this victory, uh, Monday. Let's, let's enjoy this week. Let's enjoy this week. So, um, Jamal Williams has been, uh, uh, man, he's been so great. <laughs> Last night, that interview I mean, it just, I just felt every, every bit of it, man. You've seen so many emotions come out of that young man. It's three people on this team that I want to see back here. Jamal Williams. Um, Jamal Williams. <laughs> we, we got to bring Elliot back. <laughs> we got to bring Bugs back. We got to bring these guys. We have to keep these guys around. We got to keep these guys around. So um, with that said, let me know what you guys think, man, with this roster going forward. Uh, some guys that you want to see stay here in Detroit. Um, what you thought about that interview with Jamal Williams and everything else that you've seen in the media. Leave it in the comment section. But I got to go. Got to go, man. I got to get to work. So you guys enjoy yourselves. And um I'll talk to you later. Peace.